good day, Miss. My name is Chong Ji, and I'll present my game here, which I named it Not a Casual Game. Now, let's quickly hit the button here and start the game. So, this will be our first level of the game. You can move the player around with A and B keys, left and right. And we use space bar to jump the platform. And we can collect the cherries over here. Cherries are counted when you collect collect the cherries, and it will be counted on the top left corner over here. As you can see, we have a cherry count of five. And now, as you can see here, there's some moving saw here. The saw is our trap here, one of our trap. As you hit the, the saw, and you play dice, and eventually this game over screen will pop up. Now you hit try here and we will restart the level. So my concept here is the, the game should be one shot, which means that we have no checkpoints and whatsoever. You die and you restart the whole level, something like that. And let's just leave this the whole level, and collect all the cherries, and yeah, as we reach the at the end of the, the room here, there's a finish flag which will direct you into the second level. Alright, so this will be our second level here. As you can see, there will be a moving platform. This is the clock which I created on my own using the physical software. So the clock is moving as a moving platform and as you can see play will not fall off and will stick to the platform and you can still jump on the platform here okay let's quickly move on to the next room so this room it's it's like a more difficult level compared to the level one as you can see the platform is much more smaller and it's a bit more Harder. So, as you reach the end of the, the room here, you can see the, the, the end of the level, the flag is over at the behind here, but you can, you, you can just pass off there, so instead, I will need the player to just walk back to the, the start here, so and as you can see, there's a, there's a staircase to the sky here some skill to jump on and here I use the, the cloud as our static platform so this platform will not move so we will have to jump and we will reach the, the room here over here so this room is uh, final final room for the level so jump here the platform is so small, it will require player to place a bit of skill to jump on the platform. So, when you reach the end of here, the player will think that um, there's no platform and nothing, but logically thinking that the flag will be below here, somewhere over here. So, if the player will have to jump off like this, as you can see, there's a lot of salt and it's I like giving a surprise to the player when they think that the level is a bit easy, they can just finish it off in like a like few minutes or something like that. And at the end there, there's a bit of surprise which will, will, will cause way to start the new level again. So yeah. Yeah. see the saw. So it will be a bit narrow path here, but we can still pass off here. And we can just pass the saw here, we reach the finish flag here. And yeah, we will show the game completion screen over here. And you have a green sprite here, left and right here. So let's click the menu. And it will direct you back to the main menu. So I'll need to 
I have something to state over here. Uh, a bit of problem in my game here. So as you can see, I collected about let's say five cherries here. The cherry count is notable. But one thing is, see, the game over screen here. There's a cherries collection count over here, which will indicate how many cherries you collected in each level, and you will pass pass the the record to the next level. So we'll keep it until the end of the game. So the thing here is the cherries are not counted and it's not working. So I think in future development I will try to make this, this thing work. And yeah. That's all for my game. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.